Okay, so I am going to kind of go between um, Gizmo here on my screen plus reading through these directions. I'm going to go through the entire warm-up with you and then set you on your own to do activities A, B, and C. Okay, so first things first, I get to, get, oop, I get to Gizmo over here. Um, and go through the normal login, which will bring you to this screen. Your username is your first initial and your last name. And then your password is capital W, lowercase f, and then your student ID numbers. Which will bring you to this next screen. Just verifying that you're in the correct class period. Okay. And then what I want to do is I want to make sure that the title of this matches up with the title up here. So I'm going to be doing the summer and winter gizmo. Now remember, this is just a preview. In order to actually start working on the class, you need to select this launch button. Okay, and then it'll bring you to this. Now, the first thing I always recommend doing is getting familiar with some of your tabs. So up here it says space, and I know you can't see that super duper well. Space, this one says Earth, so how we see it from here on Earth. Um, you can reset your tilt, you can show the sun's rays. Um, let's go back to Earth. You can show the sun's rays, or you can show a protractor, um, all those kinds of things. Okay? so. Just to kind of be familiar, I'm noticing that this one says June 21st, and this says December 21st. They're both at 12 o'clock in the afternoon. Okay. Current latitude of our little guy is 36 degrees north, and the current tilt is at 23.5 degrees, which is the correct and like accurate tilt. So, I am going to start kind of reading through here. So vocabulary. This is the vocabulary that I should really keep in mind as I go through and I answer my questions. Okay, so axis, equator, hemisphere, latitude, season, summer solstice, and winter solstice. So prior knowledge questions. Do these before using the gizmo. So I am going to make sure that I don't really use the gizmo before I start doing these. So uh, question number one asks, when during the year is the sun highest in the sky? And then it asks for short or for lo lowest in the sky. So when is it higher in the sky? Well, it's highest in the sky during our summer months. And it's lowest in the sky during our winter months. Ooh, also, I almost forgot my name. So, this is G. Summer months, winter months. When during the year is daylight the longest and when is it the shortest? Well, for us, it's the same. We get the longest amount of daylight during our summer and we get the shortest amount of daylight during our winter. Why do you think it is colder during winter than the summer? Okay, so just using some of your language um, and vocabulary, you could say something along the lines of we are very north on our latitude. Our hemisphere is, <coughs> excuse me, tilted away from the sun during our winter months. Um, the axis is tilted away from the sun's direct radiation during the summer months, things like that. So I want you to write your response here. Okay, gizmo warm up. The space tab of the summer and winter gizmo shows two different snapshots of Earth in its orbit. In its orb, as it orbits the sun, the Earth at left shows June 21st. The Earth at right shows. December 21st. So space tab, which is what it automatically goes on, 
Here's the snapshot of June 21st, and here's the snapshot of December 21st. The white lines going through the North and South Pole are the Earth's axis. Does the axis go straight up and down, or is it tilted? So just kind of looking at these, is it straight up and down, or is it tilted? Well, that should be kind of sort of obvious, but it is tilted. So, the axis is tilted. Yes, I wrote in complete sentences. I wonder if you should. Okay, your latitude indicates how far you are from the equator, a line around Earth's middle. The person in the gizmo has the same latitude on each date. So, it's showing that it is, he is away from the equator. The equator is right here. It's a dashed line. He is away. He's above the equator here. He's still the, above the equator there. Okay? So, that next step says turn on show sun rays. So, you'll click on this. Then slowly drag the person on the left Earth toward the North Pole. So this is left versus right. Can I expand this? Sweet. So this is left, this is right. So I'm going to take this guy and I'm going to grab him and drag him up towards the North Pole. What do you notice about the sun's rays, how the sun ray hits the person as she moved more northward? So, as we moved northward, okay, because she was right here, okay, she right here is in direct sunlight, versus when I move her up here, she's no longer receiving that direct sunlight anymore. Now it's kind of being spread across. So, what do you notice about how the sun rays hit the person as she moves northwards? So, I could simply write... The sun's rays, the sun's rays do not directly hit the woman the more north. She is moved. Now she's still getting quite a bit of the direct rays and radiations, but it's not as direct. Okay? So, pause me if you need to. If not, I'm uh, moving on. So, the half of Earth's north of the equator, or the top half, is called the northern hemisphere. Hemisphere means half a sphere. The southern half is the southern hemisphere. Which hemisphere receives more direct sunlight on June 21st? And then which hemisphere receives more direct sunlight on December 21st? Okay, so if we're looking at June 21st, we are getting all of these rays hitting. And what is it mainly hitting? I mean, if we're just going to look at the ones that hit the Earth itself, we have one, two, three, four, five. And out of those five, three are above the equator, one is at the equator, and one is below the equator. So the northern hemisphere is getting more direct radiation. So northern hemisphere. So northern hemisphere. And which hemisphere is receiving more direct sunlight on December 21st? So if we go over here to December 21st, again we have one, two, three, four, five rays that are hitting. One is above the equator, one is at the equator, and three are below the equator. So the hemisphere that is getting the most direct sunlight on December 21st is the southern 
hemisphere. So, this is kind of how you work through the warm-up and then your prior knowledge questions. Now, what I want you to be aware of as you move into the activities, okay? Activity A is just one page, B is one page, C is one page, okay? You always need to get the gizmo ready first. So, on the space tab, drag the person to 40 degrees north latitude. This is the latitude of New York City and then check that the sun's show sun's rays is on. So the first thing you would need to do is check your current latitude, which is down here. It's a little difficult to see because of like how bright it is, but you wanna grab your person and bring them down to 40 or get them as close to 40 as you can, okay? So make sure you read that for A, B, again, on the space tab, drag the person to latitude 40 degrees south. This is um, close to the latitude of Wellington, New Zealand. Okay. And then finally, click reset tilt to change the access tilt back to 23.5, which leads me to believe that somewhere in the last um, gizmo, you're changing the tilt. And on the space tab, drag the person to the North Pole or 90 degrees north. Okay? Make sure you're reading that. You have to like read all of the directions because it's going to ask you to change things and take down different data. Okay. Hopefully that was helpful. Um, if you have any other questions, please feel free to let your teacher know. Thank you.